Hello people of the web and welcome back to another episode from the Vanilla High server. The last video was uploaded just yesterday and as you can see Hushbug hasn't been sitting idle. She's already been busy just expanding the lobby area for the Guardian farm. Now in today's episode I don't plan on spending time here at least to begin with as I have other jobs to do around the base. Now the first task is going to be at the slime farm. Fortunately for me, while I've been working on the Guardian farm, just over that hill, the slime farm's been loaded a fair bit and we gained a good chunk of slime blocks. Now in here initially I did plan on having the output chests over here, um, but Hushbug decided to do a pretty pattern which I actually quite like and don't want to rip out. So that can stay and the collection system can go over here in the lobby room that I was going to do. Now what I've done is build something in that room, then tear it out, then build it, then build something else, then tear it out, then build it, and I'm now at a place where I'm quite happy with what I've done. And uh, I even invited Hushbug to have a look so far. So on the right, the items will come down and be automatically filled into these chests. This would be my water elevator, which gets me up to, oops, don't place blocks, um, gets me up and down layers. And then this is my office. I've added bookcases, a fire, some shelves, some paintings, and a desk. But I did have too many uh, blank walls, so I thought a mirror would be a good idea. Now, this is something that I've done before. I did it in my sheep farm on the last map, and it looked really good then. And I think it will look really good now. The only problem is that everything you see in front of me needs to be rebuilt um, in that direction. So that it then looks like a mirror. Now this will take probably a few seconds view, but it's probably going to take me uh, a little while. Maybe a, a cup of tea or two. Behind me is Hushbug's Cove. Now this is the area where I tend to farm my spruce trees. And uh, I'm hoping this will be enough to finish the project. If not, I might scream a little and then get on with cutting down trees. That would be the sound of someone killing the ender dragon. <laughs> After plenty of hard work, we've now finished. The only thing that I can see that hasn't been mirrored are the two shulkers and that sea lantern. Other than that, we're done. Oh, and uh, the blue orchid. I didn't br bring a flower pot with me. With the lobby room now finished, it's about time we sort out the uh, item storage, which means I need to go under here. Now, when I dug this area out, I left it quite easy to work on. Now, the next thing I need to do is Dig a hole this way, and there should be a doorway over here. Ha! Doorway! There. That'll give me access down here, and now I can sort out the rails so they deposit the stuff in the right place. Hopefully. The point of the door is so that I can get in here in case I ever need to do any maintenance. Namely, um, move the minecart if it ever gets stuck. Now. I've dug a little bit of space so that I have to run the minecart over this way and have an item unloader and elevator going up here so it can feed into the back of these chests. So of course the next obvious thing to do would be have a hopper that feeds into the back of the chests. Like that. With the hoppers in place and a surround around I just need to put the water in here. Which should, in theory, be quite simple. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh, try that again. Right, what we want is a couple of signs down here. And like that. We can pit her up with some ice. Another block there. One more ice and... 
The minecart track will continue along here and go up onto this hopper, so I just need a system to detect that. It should be, if I remember, something like that. Yeah, so whenever there's an item in the hopper, the uh, powered rail that will be on top will be unpowered. That seems to make sense. Now let's get these uh, rails sorted. And with that connected, we just need to turn off the other side and we can test it. Should be something along the lines of that. Now, just to test it, to put those on the track. Right, items picked up over here and in theory when the minecart comes up this track it'll stop on this block unload and once all the items are unloaded the minecart will be on its way yep that works quite nicely now I just need to uh, power this dropper to spit out the items and get them to go into a water stream, which sounds simple. Although looking at this, I'm a little bit worried if I put a comparator based clock off of this, whether it's going to power those rails. So the sensible thing to do, I know me doing sensible, it's new, it would be to uh, place the dropper, let's say, over here. and. Feed in like that. One of the few circuits that I've done enough that I can do them blindfolded. Just needs this block over the top and then it'll work. But of course first we need some water and I think some glass in front of this packed ice would look nice. Water, water. That should flow all the way down to this. Items will push off and go up. Glass. Where do I have glass? Three. I have three. Right, back to the storage area. Fancy going all this way just for a few bits of glass. <sighs> Take ages to go back and forth. All right, I might be just kidding a little bit. It's quite convenient popping back to the storage area from here. So, if I place it there, that'll place it against the sign. Um, oops, <laughs> that was a bad move as well because I need to break that one first. And then we can break the one underneath. And then that redstone clock that I made can be rebuilt. Whoops. Right. Lucky I remember how to do it. One redstone dust there. That goes on there. And one redstone dust there. We have a clock. Oh, I've done something wrong. Here is that bit there. I forgot one piece of redstone dust. That seems to work. Although it would probably be a good idea if I replace those signs on this side with something a bit more uh, solid. No, oh, no! I broke the redstone again. If I don't remember how to build it earlier, I certainly should do now. So all of those slime balls that I put in there should, in theory, have come up and deposited in this chest. I am removing the bottom hopper. Two double chests should be plenty. I'll leave the other one there just in case we ever need to upgrade the storage, but I think it'd be nicer to grab it from these ones. 
and that should be the slime ball storage sorted. Alright, now let's get these walls done. While I'm aware that this has turned into a very progress update -y, uh, episode, the walls are now done, the office is now done, and uh, I added a bit of lighting under some carpet in the middle of the room. So all I have to do now is clear up a couple things, including some chests, some shulkers, and uh, don't forget to put the last potted plant in, which would be this one. I think we're uh, finished. Oh, apart from that wall. I don't know what I'm going to do with it for now, so... Uh, it's going to be a plain spruce wood wall. Or oh, sorry, spruce plank wall. I can add a bit of decoration to it another day. For now, let's just get it nice and clean. It's a bit boring, but it'll do for now. And uh, we now have a room that doesn't look so incomplete. Also, no holes in the floor. And a slime farm that I really like the design of. Oh, wow, I missed that entire section. I think I left this side just in case I wanted to add doors to it. Now, I said it before, but I'll say it again, and this time, it should be correct. Everything's done. I like this farm. If anyone has ideas for what to do with this wall, please feel free to leave something in the comment section. And yes, I'm aware that I need three more beacons, but I don't have many spare beacons at the moment, so one will have to do. It was useful having the haste beacon while uh, digging that out, though. And the mirrored room. I'm really pleased with that, although it did add a lot of work. With all the work decorating the slime farm and the cutting down of however many trees it was, um, I decided it was about time that I repaired my tools. Now, I came down here as the sensible place to repair things, and I noticed that Hushbug has been uh, expanding the area. And so I did offer to help it. I've dug this down a few layers, and now my pick um, definitely needs repairing. <laughs> but fortunately for me, we have a machine for the... Oh, I don't have space. We have... Let's try that again. A XP farm. Oh, and yes, I'm now using golden carrots because I realised having a gold farm, as good as ours seems to be, we might as well treat ourselves to golden carrots. And now that my pick's fully repaired, I dare say that I'm going to do a little bit of digging down here to help Hushbug out. What a nice guy I am. Make sure that you tell her that when you see her online, because she might not realise how wonderful I am. Intelligent, handsome, modest... All good qualities of mine. It's a brand new day and we're going to start with a brand new clip by heading into the nether. Now you might not know why we're heading to the nether but it'll become clear soon enough. If you've been following the series you'll know that this is our little nether hub. It's not very pretty. That's the mushroom island. That's the sky base. Skeleton farms down there. That's to the end portal and the wall farms down there. Now there's actually a new portal, which you might be able to guess where it heads to. It brings us to the Guardian Farm, and always facing the wrong wall. And uh, Hushbug's here. By the looks of it, she's probably just repaired her tools. Now, I'm a little bit stuck for words because... When I was last in here, there was more stone. I've helped a significant amount. I dug down that bit and helped start on this bit over here. But a few hours ago, I went out and uh, this section here was all stone from here up to... I'll show you one moment. Up to that line there. So Hushbug has been very busy. 
Hello. I also just remembered how incredible this garden farm is. Anyway, the plan is that she's going to be building the stairs for the portal, and then I can start working on the storage system, which will be along this wall and this wall, while she decorates the rest of the room. I've been very busy digging. Now, Hushbug's still at work. Um, I finished work a couple of hours ago, so I've been busy digging. And as you can see, I've made a fair bit of progress. There's only that little bit in the corner left to do, and I'd quite like to get it done before she gets home, just so I can see her reaction when she realizes it's all done. Ooh, and the occasional bonus diamonds. Cover those up, don't want people to think we're rich. I've nearly finished. Unfortunately, however, I haven't finished before Hushbug got back and I was really hoping to surprise her with a completely finished room however I've told her not to do any more digging because I can finish this while she gets on with the important stuff which is making things look pretty something that I'm not very good at and Hushbug is though she's just staring at them oh no she's placing a block Normally when I do these outros, um, I can take my armour off. Too much stuff. Aha, that's better. Now, as my French friend might say, j'ai fini. And I think this is a good point to end this week's episode. We've put the finishing touches on the slime farm. I've helped to clear the space down here. And I'm sure this room will start to take shape very soon. I have very high hopes especially as Hushbug did such a fantastic job on decorating the last Guardian farm we did on the previous map, which I'll put a link to in the end cards. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.